Okay, guess okay, we're back. Guy freaking cut me off. I'm not saying You never so. have anything important to say, so. Well, too bad. Yeah, we're talking about the Ruby and Sapphire, and I, I'm a little disappointed on the names. I, mean, I get the theory behind it, but Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Admittedly, okay, Omega Ruby kind of sounds cool because Omega just sounds awesome. But then Alpha Sapphire just sounds. Just, I mean, you, wow. the thing is, you can tell that they simply did it because of the Alpha and Omega, you know, being the first and last of the Greek alphabet. And that's literally it. They put no other thought into it aside from that. And the fact I that mean, that maybe, maybe not. Will you let me crouch, please? Thank you. Not that I think that they would actually go into that detail, but I guess because the, the main... Oh, wow, really? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta level oh my up God. the a bit. The, the main... Basically, the, the villains in that game kind of... The, each team, Al, uh, Aqua and Mag, Magma kind of want to recreate the world in, the, in their own way, right? Well, not really, no. It's that Team Magma wants to increase the sun's rays to create more land. But Team Aqua Yeah, they want to recreate to create... the world in their own way. No, it's that's... No, that's Team Galactic that wanted to completely no, recreate completely the world. different universe, yeah. Well, actually, it's still technically the same timeline, timeline, but they wanted to create a whole new thing. But Team Magma and Aqua, they literally just wanted to create more land or more water. And that's just like their whole. Okay, intention. well, that, that kind of kills my thing. So I was thinking maybe they were kind of going like. I guess no, that would make more sense with Gen 5 this and Gestus and stuff. Kind of like the, the Jesus right analogy. I am the Alpha moved. and the Omega. But I was going to fit. Hard to say. So what do you think Gen 4 is going to be? Check out the research camp. Well, you mean the remade Platinum and Diamond? Yeah, what is their name going to be? I don't know. Somebody really who was being a retard the other day, I was reading a comment on one of the, uh, the rumors. A waste of time, bitch, let's go. We make for the camp. Dude, you did it in the middle? This ridge. I don't know why. But, uh, somebody was like, they should do Blood Ruby. I'm like, no. No, they shouldn't do Blood Ruby. Um, now, I mean, that wouldn't be as bad as if they were stupid enough and did Blood Diamond. It's a small that would be kind of cool. Yeah. No, it would not. Really? You know what a blood diamond is? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Yep. I remember now. Racist bastard. Nope, I completely forgot what that was. You racist bastard. Looks like not racist, if I'm ignorant. It's a good place for Depends on who you talk to. Really, man. I was actually reading something on online. Somebody posted up on Facebook uh, this thing. Oh, God. There's still Like, uh, 20 racist microaggressions you don't realize you say every day. And I got reading through it, and they're really not that racist. I'm sorry. Some of them, there were admittedly a couple that, yeah, they were rather racist. But the hilarious thing is the next thing they posted that day, right after that, right the fuck after that, why is that bus not dying? Was, um... Because you suck. They posted the widest things that have ever happened. I'm like... Widest? That's racist in and of itself, y'all. I'm sorry, wait, white? Oh, whitest. Whitest, yes. Oh, I thought you said widest. Yes, wide. Fat people joke. <laughs> that door. Security box engaged. I'm perfectly fine with shooting whoever the hell is in this next room. Actually, I'm going to read you a couple of these while we're... <laughs> doing this. See if you think they're really racist. I can get the page to open here. Yes, we're talking about racist crap, and we're probably gonna... If people ever watch these videos, Humans. they're gonna fucking hate us, Thank but... Yep. Hurry, close the door oh, yeah, this back. is a fun scene. <coughs> Bless you. Ah, How did you end up in this shed? Good. We hit here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport <coughs> earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long I really do not to want to play Budokai 3 again. Just, I, I, that, 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 that was just too ridiculous. To too much ass beat on against me. Dude, you were taking my ass last time. Oh, yeah. no, that was never uploaded, though. I haven't had a chance to upload it yet, but, uh... That's what the assistant. Oh, yeah, and it's cracked up ass. Assistant? No, but seriously, I swear to God, against Jong on Pharos and that little re little researcher Alco, I literally had I didn't have enough Paragon to talk him out or do whatever the hell he was gonna do. So I'm like, you know what? That's enough. He, he, Next he's second, talking about his uh, his personal playthrough that we're not recording of this game. This, it, I think he's honestly doing that so he's not completely lost in this game. 
I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence That's like so... My voice must like, be heard. <coughs> yeah. Oh my so that God. Almost, what did you do? Uh, I know. That might have been a little extreme. That was like a masochist, no, like, no, greatest like, dream. These, these races, they, this one is one that really, I think, is hilarious. It's a girl who looks like she's probably Asian. But the person says, where are you from? It was only a matter of time. That's apparently racist crazy. to ask somebody where they're from now. Dangerous. That's just it's being crazy. curious. Or somebody said, what are you? And I'll admit, saying what are you may not be the most uh, PC way to say it. Her response, like, she's like, I always get asked, what, what are you? It's like, I'm a human. Being mixed race does not, or being biracial does not make me a what? You don't some people get, are just curious about that shit. Don't have to get pissy about it, jeez. Yeah, that's the well, thing about like, these microaggressions. Again, we already okay, know what's this going one, on with all these. Yeah, but this one right here is the funniest one. I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> ah, this ah. one could admittedly be maybe kind of racist, but it's stupid racist like it's knocked on his ass so what do you guys speak over in japan asian okay that i that's just somebody being stupid they're an idiot well that could also have been on purpose but you never know yeah somebody like uh, you don't act like a normal black person you know okay like you know there are stereotypes there's stereotypes for everybody yeah so there are stereotypes for white people, and no one likes to acknowledge that. Well, white people Minus. can't be hated on or judged because they're they're just you know. This majority. isn't your mission, Sarah. No, the problem is what they can here? be. They're the only race that can be the hated on and judged. You're and allowed to, but you're not really hating on them though, because they're the majority. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. I never noticed until I was just Good. playing this this time I through, the, like the other day. His left arm is a Geth arm. I never noticed. Well, the thing realized. is, is like he's got wires going into the back of his head. He's got the the uh, husk eyes. What is that? Off in the distance. Which it, you know, admittedly, we see um, in Mass Effect Two and Three, the elusive man has those eyes. If you're a renegade, you actually have those eyes. In Mass oh, whoa! I never noticed this shit over here. Oh, I have a shotgun. I don't want this. Shot it. God damn it, why am I not crouching? Yeah, I was gonna say, crouch down helps a little bit. Yeah, I know, I remember that. Big yeah, bitch. It. Boom, headshot. Knocked on his ass. I want my shotgun for this. Get it out faster, damn it. Okay, and this one, I gotta read you this one. And this one is okay, I can see where it's racist, but I have a bigger question about it, and you'll, you might notice it when I read this. So just because I'm a Mexican does not mean I should be the first choice for the role of Dora the Explorer in a high school skit. Okay, that's... What? My question is, who's doing Dora the Explorer skits in high school? Yeah, pretty much. Here it is. Okay, here's one that says, you don't speak Spanish, and honestly, the girl looks black. She doesn't look Hispanic, so... God... I done fucked up. You fucked up, man. You, you, you I really took, It took me too up. long to react for some reason. But yeah, it's like, some of these are just really stupid. And it's always fun to watch, to read through these. Uh, oh, this random black girl said, People think it's weird that I listen to Carrie Underwood. I'm like, yeah? Well, why? Because if I told people I listen to Carrie Underwood, guess what? They're going to think it's weird, too. How much Omni Joe do you need to open that? I literally just need one more weapon. I had 17 a second ago and it wouldn't let me do it, so I probably need 25. I'm probably 20. I don't think it's be hard this early. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, remember, it's 25. Do you have any armors you can break down? I have one. That's actually kind of a decent armor, too, though. And I officially put it on, and this is going away. Alright. Just waste all your armor. Everybody stay calm out there. That's what I pretty much do until after I use the Mako sequence. Is it safe? Are they gone? And then I literally end up with like 600 Omni Gel just because I need to like expend stuff. Again, I've maxed out Omni Gel at 999. Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. I've maxed out everything in this game. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. Except, I mean, obviously, you know, you can't max out every skill. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. 
tech details because I know I gotta like talk them into giving me the fucking weapon. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. Oh crap! Whoops. Were working the crops when that ship showed up. You just saw it and ran. I don't know. Actually, they just do start to leave and they're like, they were like, hey, we should get over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. The one dude's just like, you oh, don't maybe know we should that. get the stuff. We Excuse me. If they made it God damn it! Shut up. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? It was the claw. <laughs> if you if you watched the first video, I mentioned that I thought that was an actual hand. It was emitting some kind of. You know, the thing is. Sounded like the shriek of the dead. Okay, I know this is made by Bioware, and I'm pretty sure they're a Canadian company, but they're they're a Western company. I know that for a fact. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was. Could you imagine if Japan made this and it? The Reapers were what the Reapers are. God, why would you go there? Dude, it's Japan. They go there. <laughs> uh, now, Japan's got some of the weirdest shit, but some of the best shit, too. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. Don't like being like. Oh, we're at the 11 minute mark, so I guess we should. Ah, yeah, fine. I'll cut the video. And we'll